What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to install and even how to use the Immersive Engineering Mod. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every tutorial we upload just like this one. Look. Ever since Redstone was introduced to Minecraft, players have been wanting to build bigger and better machines in the game. Immersive engineering builds on this aspect of the audience of Minecraft by adding a ton of new machines and tools to allow players to create bigger and better and even more efficient builds than ever before. Today we're going to show you how to install immersive engineering and even how to get started. For the client install, we already have videos on how to install Forge mods, so here we're going to show you the easiest way to install this mod. Hop over to the official CurseForge page. This is assuming you have the CurseForge app installed. This is a really useful tool for installing mods or making mod packs. You can find this CurseForge web page and any other links we talk about or important web pages we talk about linked in the description below this video. Check out our What is CurseForge video if you don't know what CurseForge is. It's safe, connected to your Minecraft account, and installs Forge and any dependencies you need automatically, or Fabric and any dependencies you need for Fabric mods automatically. On the CurseForge web page for this mod, just go ahead and click on Files. Now find the version of the mod that you want. Here we're going to be using the Minecraft 1.18.2 version of the mod, but there's 1.18.1, 1.16.5, and even a version for 1.15.2. So you could use this method for any of these versions, but for this example, we're going to be using this 1.18.2. Once you've found your version, you can go ahead and to the right of the file, click on install on CurseForge. Now, if you have the CurseForge app installed, which you need, it's going to open up the app for you. Now, it's better if you have the app opened up before you do this. But from here, all you need to do is either install onto a profile that already exists or make a new profile and put a name and then submit it and it'll install Forge or Fabric or whatever you need for this mod to work. And this goes for any mod on the CurseForge directory or mod database, of course. And installing on the server is also insanely easy. Make sure that it's a compatible version of Forge. So for us, that's 1.18.2. And then once you're sure that your server jar and your mod jar are compatible, Go ahead and click on stop. Once your server is fully offline, then you can click on FTP file access on the left hand side of the page. From here, go ahead and find your mods folder and then click into it. From here, you should just click on upload. Basically, all you have to do is on CurseForge, right click on the mod profile and then click on open folder. Then you're gonna see your mods folder. We're going to be moving the mod from here to our server. Wait for your file to upload 100% one out of one files. And then once it's uploaded, click on the name of your server at the top of the page and then hit restart. And once your server starts up and it's online, then you should be ready to play with immersive engineering on your server. Now it's time to go over some cool features of immersive engineering. While it adds a lot of new tools and stuff, it's ultimately about energy. Anything you create or use in this mod is going to need to be powered in some way or another to function. The tools, machines, and resources that we're going to talk about are going to help you to start building the fundamental foundations of your future factory. Gathering resources is the fun part and the easy part of the game. You're going to start out gathering industrial hemp and the various new ores. You're also going to need lots of wood, iron, and clay, so stock up on as much as possible. You can find most of this stuff through mining and exploration. They can also be purchased from villagers and the new electrician villager 
added by the mod. Along with the various new ores, of course, that's copper, bauxite, lead, silver, nickel, and uranium. These ores can all be found by mining in the overworld. There's a handful of tools added by this mod that are an absolute necessity. The tools that we're going to talk about are going to be needed to navigate the mod to pretty much make whatever machine it features. Luckily, these tools are pretty easy to make and only require some basic resources. The first being the engineer's manual. This is probably going to be the most useful tool for everyone starting with immersive engineering, you know, like before you remember everything. You can make this, of course, with a book and a lever. Once it's in your inventory, you can just right click it like any other book in the game to open the interface. And the book is interactive and you can jump to specific sections on the page by clicking on them in the table of contents. The hammer is pretty easy to craft, it's just two sticks, two pieces of iron, and a piece of string. But it's probably the most important tool in the mod. It's needed to create and interact with almost every item added by the mod. The hammer is a tool you're going to need to switch between these different modes and manipulate some of the machines you're going to work with. You're also going to need to make a coke oven and a crude blast furnace. The coke oven and the blast furnace are possibly some of the most important machines in immersive engineering. The blast furnace is used to create steel and slag from iron ingots. And the coke oven is used to create a fuel source called coal coke that is twice as efficient as normal coal and is one of the most basic fuel sources used by the mod. And now let's go over the last feature, conveyor belts. The conveyor belt is a perfect tool for automating your builds. It allows you to easily transport items without having to rely on minecarts, water, or other mechanics from the base game. It's also super easy to create in large batches because it's just three pieces of leather, two pieces of iron, and one piece of redstone, and that makes eight conveyor belt pieces. When you place these conveyor belts down, you're gonna notice an arrow appears on the ground where you're looking. This is gonna tell you which direction the belt is gonna move. You can change the direction by changing which side of the block you're looking at or by right clicking on the conveyor belt with your hammer. There's a ton more to this mod that we're not gonna go over in this video because we want you to figure out most of it yourself or by reading their extensive wiki. There's also a ton of add-ons its popularity has given rise to these add-ons and independent mods that improve your gameplay experience when using immersive engineering. These can add new items, mechanics, tools, and machines for you to play with as you expand your factory. Immersive engineering is an expansive mod that adds more to the game than we could ever cover in a single guide. It might feel confusing to use at first, but the new tools and machines we're gonna let you build pretty much any contraption you can think of. There's no limits to what you can make with the basic information in this guide. Well, folks, we hope you like this tutorial, and as always, we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.